common perception of bin weevils is that it's a weird, bad version of Club Penguin. But from my memory, being 10 years old and getting to step into the bin when I got home from school was nothing short of liberating. I'm here to answer the question, was bin weevils actually great or is my childhood a depressing grave that is better left undug? So I opened the game for the first time. After discovering that the username checker will accept nothing from me for reasons I will never understand, I surrendered to the system and let it mockingly dub me Epic Robot. Sad as it is to see the death of free will, this is nowhere near as sad as the sight I was met with when I entered the bin. Where is everyone? Why, why is the world empty? What, what's happened? I searched far and wide, exploring old locations that once thrived with weevils of all shapes and sizes. Well, they were all the same size, but it seemed those who stood by me long ago would never stand by my side again, and I didn't even have time to- Oh my god, there's another weevil! I have to say something, what do I say? Okay. What? No! But you can't do this to me. So, to earn the right of speech, I decided it was time to participate in the variety of games and challenges strewn around the bin, starting with the fan favourite, Racing, which had to just be in the solo time trial mode because, well, clearly there is no one else here to race with. And when there's no one to race with, it's pretty boring. It's not like it looks good or controls well, so it kind of needs those other players to race against to be worth spending any time in. Next, we've got the crosswords and word searches. Pretty self-explanatory stuff. Either you're into this sort of thing or you're not. I do enjoy a good crossword, though perhaps these may be a little too easy. I know Bin Weevils probably wasn't made for adults, but let's be honest, the only people still playing it are all adults, so I don't know what I'm trying to say, really. Malt Shoot. Probably one of the more fun games Bin Weevils has to offer. It's as simple as click on the mulch as it flies across the screen. When I say it's probably one of the more fun games, I mean for about two minutes. This isn't exactly the sort of captivating gameplay that can hold my attention for long and it seems the people who made the game knew that, as they discourage you from playing much of it in a short period, only allowing rewards for playing once per day. Which takes us to Lab's Lab, a play on words that would work if Lab was actually a name anyone ever had. Anyhow, in Lab's Lab, we get a daily rapid-fire quiz. Once again, it suffers from being too easy, but once again, I guess it was made for idiot children. And I am f***ing awful at geography, so it still managed to stump me a couple times there. So this collection of games seems to be the core of Bin Weevil's gameplay. There are a few other things, like growing plants in the garden, a sort of a quest line revolving around a missing bin pet, which I dabbled in but came to the conclusion was f***ing tedious. A cinema where you can go watch some films. Um, can we have a ball back? Not you! Can you see him, Clark? Social hubs like the disco, which is... Yeah sad. So to grind experience to unlock text chat, I put these games on rotation. Racing, shooting, quizzing, wording, quizzing, wording, quizzing, wording, quizzing, wording, Okay, what level are we now? Only seven? And they're starting to take a lot longer to level up. It was at this moment that I realised what made Bin Weevil special wasn't the repetitive sh** minigames, but it's in the title. It was the Weevils. Which then leads naturally to the next thought, which is, they're gone. The Weevils are gone. Without its weevils, what is this game but a desolate void with scattered chorish tasks grinding for mulch and experience so that we can, what, repeat the process? Decorate a home that will never invite a fellow weevil to join? The bin was a place of community and memories shared with others. And while it seems all of us weevils have shed our four extra legs and now walk the real world as people with two legs, probably living actual lives with real jobs and real friends, but that's not the point. The time spent in the bin will always be a part of us. And while it's not a game I'll ever find myself returning to, I'm glad it happened. Even if it is now bittersweet to know we left the nest. The weevils are gone. Discovering self to know how to grow. Genius takes many shades.